Oh, hello there, all you strange and interesting creatures of the internet. Welcome back to the All Seasons on F1 2020. And yes, it's time now to change teams for the start of Season 3. And once again, we are going to go up two. So that means we are going to be driving for Renault for the start of Season 3. Mm. Which, as you can see, is fourth from the top at the moment. It is going to be enough to help us secure the World Championship? Well, we'll find out as the season progresses because it's too late now. So we're going to approach the team and see what happens. Now I'm going to play very, very safe indeed because I don't want to lose this seat. So we're going to go for the low risk, 9.4 million. Our market value is 9.1. Let's have a look then and see if we're going to go to Renault. Well, we should do. I've never seen it rejected at a low risk on this game at all. So here we go then. And sending demands. We have been successful. Yes. <laughs> so we are with Renault now for 143 days. And we've got some money in the perk fund. Yes. Fantastic. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where's the pit grid girls? Where's the grid? Oh, this is ridiculous. Who wants social media training and all that bollocks? No. I want 57 pit babes that I can take home with me every single night. But there's nothing. There's n Look, media coaching, power mapping. Who wants all that bullshit? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, out of all those, I think the one that's going to be the most uh, sort of uh, interesting for us is going to be the uh, power mapping. Engine wear will be reduced by 20%. So we'll go for that one. Thank you very much. Where's those bloody naked girls? Nowhere. Anyway, here we are then at Renault. And as you can see, it's time now to end the season and... Oh, no! Yes, Sebastian Vettel has retired from Formula One. It's like art imitating real life on the all seasons. As Sebastian Vettel has now gone for season three. But don't worry, Sebastian Vettel fans. Of course, he will be back for F1 2021. But there you go. So it's time now for us to finish the season. Nice job this season. You've been performing well, and that's putting us in a strong negotiating position contract-wise. Plus, my 10% is getting more valuable. So enjoy your break, and keep up the good work next year. Wow, it's been so long since I've seen Emsky, I'd forgotten what she looked like. She's still a MILF, lads. Anyway, here is our new teammate. Yes, it's Mitch Bushy, Lump of Shitty. Anyone remembers the F2 at the start of Season 1 will remember... So there it is, our gorgeous Renault, and here are the drivers for the new season, season three of the F1 2020 career mode. And as you can see, Daniel Ricciardo, the honey badger, has taken over from Sebastian Vettel at Mercedes. So in the figure performance comparison chart, we are full from the top at the moment. And let's have a look and see what the R&D has been doing for the Renault team while we haven't been driving for it. Okay, so there's actually no R&D waiting to go onto the car, so we're going to see... Oh dear, oh dear. Well, they've done quite a bit to the powertrain and the downfalls and the chassis, but absolutely zero to the durability. So we better start getting some durability onto this car, otherwise we're going to be in serious trouble at about the halfway point of the season. But it will be okay, because we're going to leave and go somewhere else. Anyway, there you go then. So practice has been completed at Australia. So more lovely points for our collection. Fantastic. Okay, so here we are for round one at Australia. And so far, the hookstores reported back that the car is okay at the moment. Yes, it's okay, but nothing really special. Anyway, let's have a look and see what time the is going to put in for his first qualifying run at Australia with all the sun shining. Very, very bright, as you can see. Beautiful day for motor racing as we're about to cross the line now. And for his first qualifying run, it's going to put him in to third place. But, oh dear, 2.2 seconds behind the leader at the moment as we accelerate forward now it's a little bit later to qualify you can see in fact that he aborted his second run because he didn't improve on his time and he hasn't improved on this time either he's in 15th place at the moment so it looks like it's going to be 15th or lower for the Ulster 
as he's about to cross the line. So where is it going to be as we cross the line right uh, about now? And it is still, I think, 15th place. I'm not quite sure. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yes, 15th position for the race. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Not a very auspicious start for the hookster in the start of his Renault career. And Mitchell Bushy Lump of Shitty got 8th position with Lewis Hamilton on pole. Daniel Ricciardo in 2nd place. Okay then, let's do this. It's finally time once again to begin what promises to be another thrilling season of Formula One action. Pre-season time, subject of so much discussion in recent weeks, mean nothing now as the cars line up to battle it out for points once again. So let's get this season underway. Welcome to the Australian Grand Prix. The Melbourne circuit is certainly one that needs to be taken seriously. Its combination of slippery surfaces and difficult corners make it a tricky track when it comes to overtakes. Drivers find it hard to pass and will need to take full advantage of those DRS zones if they want to have any hope of breaking through. A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. Anthony Davidson is with me today as we get another year of Formula One underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. And they've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and P2 goes to Daniel Ricciardo, a strong showing from the Australian. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Albon, Valtteri Bottas and Sainz, Gasly, Matsushita, Giovinazzi and Kimi Raikkonen, Leclerc, Magnussen, Lando Norris and Russell, the captain, Stroll, Sergio Perez and Daniel Kvyat, Ocon and Nick de Vries. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. So it's time once again for the five lights to go out on the all seasons clear mode. We take go, 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 and it's away he goes. Wow, great start off the line. We've got the Williams off to the well outside. We've got Lando Norris in front of us. we going to turn one. Magnussen is also ahead. Leclerc, we've got our own teammate, uh, Mitchell Bushy, lump of shitty as we now go deep into turn one. And we're actually fighting with our own teammate now. Look at this. Look at this. Some real excitement as we go to the next turn as we manage to hold off our own teammate, Mitchell Bushy, lump of shitty. And he's going to dive on two more cars. Look at this, the Alfa Tori. And the racing point straight down the middle. He sighs through them like hot knife through butter. And he's up now into seventh position. Yes, seventh place for the Hookster. It's another fantastic performance for the guy that never gives up. And he never surrenders. Don't you know? Don't you know? So Carlos Sainz is now the car ahead of us in sixth position. Pierre Gasly in the Alfa Tori is the car behind in eighth place. Still on the first lap. Still chasing, chasing, chasing. So he's not doing too bad. Oh, goes a little bit wide down to the grass for Nilkster. Is that going to give the opportunity for Gasly to try and catch up? No, he's still holding stage at the moment. Just shy of a sort of half a second. Uh, behind us as we try to catch up to the back of Carlos Sainz and of course it's McLaren now of course the McLaren was the car that we were driving for last season and now we've got to make sure that we beat the McLaren otherwise we'll be in serious trouble with our bosses yes because this car is definitely faster than the McLaren in the development at the moment so we're about to complete lap one still holding on to seventh place Carlos Sainz is still ahead of us just over half a second we've got the Alfa Tori as you can see catching us in fact Pierre Gasly right up to Jack Jones as we're about to complete lap one of the Grand Prix and go into lap two. Bottas in fifth position at the moment. Okay, let's see if we can actually gain any ground on Carlos Sainz as we accelerate for lap two. And the answer to that is yes, indeed. He missed him, McGreedy. Look at this. We're going to dive down inside of Carlos Sainz. I think all oh, contact, contact with cars. We almost push him off. I think we have pushed him off, in fact. And we've got a warning for collision with Sainz. And the car behind us is Pierre Gasly. He's using that opportunity as we were unsighted there with our sort of attack on the McLaren and we managed to hold on though to this position as we accelerate for lap 7 yes lap 7 still 6th place for the hookster as you can see cars have now come in for their one and only stop and so we are going to now make up some more positions of course it's just the net positions because we haven't come in for our stop yet but we're up now to 3rd place as our teammate Mitch Bushy Lump of Shitty has come in for his pit stop and Daniel Ricciardo the Honey Badger is currently in the lead in the Mercedes and his first drive of course in Australia for the Mercedes team as we accelerate for that lap 8 so it's time for us to make our pit stop now so we pit from third place Albon's also in the team leader is also in of the uh, Mercedes team well I say team leader it's supposed to be Lewis but it could be Daniel Ricciardo this year anyway we come in now for our stop 
change on to the medium tyre. Thank you, lads. Very nice stop there. Very nice indeed. Well, I say nice. It was three seconds, but still acceptable as we're about to rejoin from pit lane now. Let's see if we... Yes, we're in eighth position at the moment. Are we going to improve on that as we now join back onto the track? You can see we've got a racing point behind us, but it's a pretty clear track in front of us as we are now in eighth position. Yes, Bottas is six seconds up the road now. Six seconds up the road. Uh, on lap 9 so we're excited forward now to, to slow on lap 9 and we've got the virtual safety cars being deployed we've got yellow flags out I don't know what's happening I'm just looking at the mini map can't quite see why the yellows have come out uh, can't really see any cars that have slowed down at the moment but uh, anyway we continue under the virtual safety car and now the virtual safety car has now ended so it's time to say go 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 once again still holding on to this eighth position at the moment which is not too good for a debut in this Renault as to be said we'd like to be up in the sharp end of the points but Bottas is still six seconds ahead as we accelerate forward now to lap nine just going past the pits on lap nine and two cars thankfully I think have come into the pits yes so we are going to gain a few positions so we should make it up into sixth place now it was Kimi Raikkonen who pitted there and so yes up into sixth place Bottas still 6.6 6 seconds ahead of us though as we accelerate for that lap 11 and Alexander Albon is out of the session Alexander Albon is out the yellow flags have come out and yeah you can see him off to the right hand side we just pass him there so we've made a position yes up into fifth position now Valtteri Bottas still ahead eight seconds ahead and Gio Vanazzi is behind us one and a half seconds and of course that racing point car as we accelerate for that lap 15 yes lap 15 it's the last lap of the race it looks like we are going to finish in the points and with some good points as well fifth position but it looks like as uh, so we get a warning there for corner cutting that Lewis Hamilton has won the race yes Lulu's won the race well done to Lewis we're going to cross the line in fifth place we couldn't actually catch Bottas unfortunately 12 seconds ahead in the end and Giovinazzi is just behind us in of course that racing point car but yes our first race in the Renault for season three of the F1 2020 all seasons career mode we cross the line in fifth position yes fantastic well that was pretty decent I'm happy with that because uh, not usually that fast in Australia anyway to be honest uh, and we get drive of the day as well. I'm embarrassed now. I am very embarrassed. But there you go. Drive of the day for the hookster. And there is Toto Wolf, the Dominator. Is your name Sarah Connor? No, it bloody well isn't. I've told you that a thousand times, Toto, you silly old twat. There's Lewis Hamilton. There is Lulu. Getting out of his car. And there is famous F1 YouTuber Alex Gillian in the background. Look, he does Facebook gaming, don't you know? Facebook gaming. Check him out. He's great. Absolutely great. I love him. Love him. Anyway, on to the, on to the podium right now. There is Lulu. There he is. Well done, Lulu. Well done. Time for the champagne now over everyone. Yes. I'll sing it. I'll sing it. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll sing it. And there we go. Fantastic. So let's have a look at some replays and see exactly what happened during that race then. So here is our teammate. Uh, and look at this. Oh dear, that's why he didn't do very well in the race. Our own teammate had a little bit of accident there. And both the Williams hit each other. Oh my goodness. And that caused absolute calamity at the back. And that's what caused, I think, the virtual safety car. Look at that. Look at that. And this is what happened to Alexander Albon. Unfortunately, his Red Bull Honda just let go and said, Nope, I've had enough. Thank you very much. I've only done one race, but that was enough for me. Thank you very much. So there you go then. Fifth for the Hookster. First for Lewis Hamilton, second for Daniel Ricciardo. As we scroll down the list, you can see that uh, there is our teammate who only finished in 17th place because of that collision with another car in uh, sort of about the halfway distance point. So there you go in the championship now. We are, of course, in fifth place. 15 points now behind Lewis Hamilton, Daniel Ricciardo in second place. Only six points behind, though. Fantastic. After one round. And in the constructors, we are currently in fourth position. So we move on to the next Grand Prix. Yes, it's time for Bahrain. Yes. Yes, back rim. And the practice has been completed. We have got some more lovely resource points. Whoa, 1,589. Wow.
And as we're about to go out for our first qualifying run, unfortunately we've got a sensor fault. But fortunately it's only going to hold us up for one minute. So out we go then for our first qualifying run underneath the floodlights at Bahrain. Yes, Bahrain. Now thankfully the hookster usually does pretty decently at this circuit. So we're looking for some monster points. Absolutely humongous amount of points for this round. Maybe even those big, big, big points. Well, we can live in hopes. Let's see what happens, though, as we're about to cross the line for our first qualifying run. Let's see where the hooks is going to end up. He's going to be in eighth position at the moment. Just shy of half a second. Just shy of half a second. Anyway, we accelerate forward out a little bit later qualifying. As you can see, we dropped out of 14th place, but we are significantly up on our delta times. Almost three quarters of a second now as we come round the final corner there and go to the start and finish line. So this should put us up into... Uh, at least 8th position, I do believe, we're about to cross the line. Oh, bloody hell, I wasn't expecting that. 4th place at the moment, the Hookster. 4th position. Ricardo in 2nd, Gasly in 1st. We accelerate forward out to the end of qualifying. We've dropped down to 6th place and we haven't managed to improve on that, so it looks like it's going to be 6 or lower. And it's going to be... Oh, we stay in 6th position. That is pretty decent. I'll take that any day of the week and twice on Sundays. So there you go then. Lewis Hamilton got pole, Daniel Ricciardo in 2nd place. Hookster in 6th position. And our teammate, Mitchell Bushy, lump of shit he ended up in ninth place okay then let's do this the stage is set for another enthralling race here in the kingdom of bahrain a ferrari stronghold in years gone by but will they be able to add to their record today there's no shortage of passing opportunities around the 3.36 miles of the bahrain international circuit with the best at turn one of course and then another soon into turn four 15 corners here six to the left and nine to the right and we could see one or two flat spots into the tight left hander of turn 10. anthony davidson is alongside me as usual for the race today now then Let's take a look at Nick de Vries. Looks like they've got a tough race in store today as grid penalties from changing power unit components has forced them further down the field. But on the bright side, at least those fresh components can help them maintain the power they need to come through the pack. I expect to see them take a more aggressive approach today to make up for the compromise start. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, with Daniel Ricciardo slotting in alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Gasly, Albon, Valtteri Bottas, the captain, Verstappen, Stroll, Matsushita, and Charles Leclerc, Raikkonen, Sainz, Lando Norris, and Giovinazzi, Perez, Russell, Kevin Magnussen, and Esteban Ocon, Kvyat, and Nick de Vries. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. So it's time once again for the five lights to go out on the all seasons career mode and we say go 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 and it's uh, away he goes from sixth position. Great stuff, it looks absolutely fantastic. We've got Alex on there but he's blocking us though, he's blocking us as we're going to go to turn one. Oh my goodness, what is Hooks going to do? He's not going to, is he? He's going to, yes he does, he dives down inside of all the cars and gets up into the lead. No, no, too far, too far to the left. And unfortunately, Hamilton and Daniel Ricciardo have got past, but that was absolutely audacious. Absolutely audacious for Nooks. Now, almost got into the lead there, but he hasn't. Now, look at this. He's going for a move on Hamilton. It's contact, and he always goes where he has to go around. Oh, wow. How did he save that? How did he manage to save that? I've no idea, but he did. But it's due to the superior reflexes of the Hookster there. He's managed to hold on to it, and he's still in third place. He actually managed to still stay ahead of Pierre Gasly there. That is absolutely unbelievable. But there is Hookster. First lap of the Grand Prix. Gasly's still attacking. Ran the outside. He's hoping to rattle Hookster. He's been pretty rattled on the first lap there when he almost binned it. But he's still holding steadfastly onto this third position. So Daniel Ricciardo, the honey badger, is currently in the lead of this Grand Prix. Hamilton is in second place. Hookster is in third position now. Bottas in fourth. Alexander Albon is in fifth place as we're underneath the floodlights at Bahrain as you can see and we're about to complete the first lap now can we catch these Mercedes well it looks to be pretty impossible because Daniel Ricciardo is now 4.1 seconds ahead of us after just one lap one lap Hamilton could be a possibility he's just over a second ahead but we will see as we now pile down the start and finish line and Daniel Ricciardo puts in the fastest lap of course and we're about to start lap two of this Grand Prix in the pursuit 
of the Mercedes. Anyway, we accelerate forward out to lap two. And look at this. Look at this. We've got Valtteri Bottas. Definitely trying to get past. And look at this. Hookster's gone very wide. That's going to give Valtteri opportunity to try and sneak down the inside. Oh, is there going to be contact? There is contact. Oh, I think. Oh, and Bottas goes round. Valtteri Bottas has gone round. Yellow flag has come out. It's going to bring out the safety car. No, I think Bottas has managed to hold on. No, the safety car has come out. Oh, no, 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 no. What happened there? So the safety car has come out. Now, this means that we can adopt our alternative strategy. It basically means cheating. And we are on lap two, which means we can come in for our stop now, chain onto the harder tyres, which will easily see us until the end of the Grand Prix. Now, are the other teams going to do that as well, or are we going to get a jump on them? Anyway, so here we go. We come in. Oh, no, other cars have come in. The bastards, they've copied my idea. I don't believe it. The AI are getting even more intelligent. The Mercedes is coming for their pit stop as well. And we come in now for the harder tyre. Look, the Mercedes has gone past. I think that was Lewis Hamilton. I think that it was Hamilton. Wowzers, me trousers. Unbelievable scenes for the all seasons. As we rejoin now in 13th position at the moment. I think some more cars may be going past. No, in fact, it's going to be 13th place as we rejoin onto the circuit now. And there's Lewis Hamilton. And there we are. So we really haven't got much of an advantage at all, it has to be said. But we will find out as the race progresses. We're still under the safety car at the moment as we accelerate forward out of lap four. So it's time for the safety car to come in. You can see we are now nestled between the firm buttocks of Lewis Hamilton's rear end. Yes, I did actually say that out loud. And let's see if we can now get past Lewis Hamilton on the restart under the safety car and actually get in front of him well look at that sponsor on the back I, I, i've seen adverts for that sponsor on television yes lots of them recently on youtube as well anyway let's have a look and see if we can get past it's soon going to be time to say green 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 and go 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 and there it is there's the green now it looks like he's use opportunity to try and get past lewis hamilton well he's piling on the beans he's in rich mix he's got the ers the drs everything's open and he dives and he's trying to three cars oh my god he's going for four cars in one he always gets past the williams does he no no but he does get past three cars absolutely fantastic two of the cars on the circuit have got five second penalties for some unknown reason it's perez and giovanazzi but anyway the car he front of us now is George Russell George Russell in the Williams and we are into the points yes 10th positions we accelerate for lap 6 yellow flags yellow flags are out I don't know why I think one of the cars is slowing down yes one of the cars is slowing down and it looks like it's a Mercedes it could be one of the Mercedes duo I'm not quite sure but there's definitely a blue car slowing down and it's Lewis Hamilton Lewis Hamilton is out of the session unbelievable scenes the Mercedes driver is out which means Daniel Ricciardo is probably going to win this race unbelievable and the virtual safety car has come out as well on lap six as we accelerate forward now still on lap six and the virtual safety car is about to end and it'll be soon time to say go 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 once again and it's green yes so go 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 and you can still see lewis Hamilton's car stranded out there on the circuit as a drs has also been enabled on lap seven as we accelerate forward now still on lap seven and some cars have come into the pits including the leader Daniel Ricciardo is coming, which means we could go into the lead. I'm not quite sure. No, we didn't. No, we didn't, actually. We're in third place, but we've got Ocon and Norris in front of us, and they're both on the soft tyres. So when they come in for their pit stop, which they're going to have to do because those tyres won't last until the end, we could be going into the lead of this Grand Prix at Bahrain. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. But yes, as you can see, they're pulling off into the pits. Well, Ocon is anyway. I think Norris is also in. We go past, and yes, indeed, he missed the McGreedy. We've done it. Up into the lead of this Grand Prix at Bahrain on lap nine, with just a few more laps to go now. And Lance Stroll is five seconds behind us as we accelerate for lap 11. Still in the lead of this Grand Prix. Stroll's got to get down to two seconds, but if we can hold him off, we can definitely win this race with only two more laps left on lap 12. Albon in third place. And look at this, our own teammate, Mitchell Bushy Lump of City, is currently in fourth as we accelerate for the last lap of the race. And it looks like we are going to do it. Half a second is the gap now between us and Lance Stroll. Albon still in third and Mitsubishi Lump of City, our own teammate, is currently in fourth position. We've just got a few more calls to go now and it looks like a win in our Renault. 
our debut season in the Renault team for season three of the F1 2020 all seasons career mode and bloody hell I've got to shorten that because I'm almost out of breath but we're about to come round the final corner now the final corner if we just hold off Lance Stroll which I think we're going to because it, oh it's getting very tight in the rear view mirrors though but no we come round the final corner now and it's going to be a win yes a win in Bahrain for Renault fantastic as we cross the line get in there look at those fireworks look at those bloody fireworks well I enjoyed that one that was fantastic driver of the day goes to Kevin Magnuson. Kevin Magnuson. unbelievable unbelievable anyway there's Cyril Ab 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 Abattoir that'll do Cyril Abattoir we may see him a lot this season yes and there's Hookster. Look at him. Look at him, everyone. Look, just 39 years old and still winning races. And there is not Alex Gillian. No, he's not He's not there. Oh, they've sacked him. Oh, dear. Never mind. Never mind. Actually, I wouldn't have him in my team. No, I said no Alex Gilliam. On to the top step then. There he is. The Hookster. There he is. Just look at this man. Look. What is he? 13 times world champion. Unbelievable scenes. And there goes the champagne over everyone. Fantastic. Well done, lads. Well done, indeed. So let's go to some replays of that race there and see exactly what happened to some of our other competitors in the Grand Prix. So this is us. And of course, the... Uh, oh, look at that. Look how we almost binned it there for Nukster. And uh, Pierre Gasly was the car behind there as we just got his view. And that was very, very dicey indeed. And let's have a look now. This, I think, is going to be uh, Pierre Gasly. As you can see, just trying to... No, this is actually Valtteri Bottas. I do apologise. And look at this. We were battling hard with Valtteri Bottas and he goes around and that's what caused the uh, safety car to come out I do believe it was Valtteri Bottas stranded in the middle of the circuit there and now this is what happened to Lewis Hamilton yes and there it is an engine failure yes the engine has let go on the Mercedes it said nope I've had enough thank you very much oh there was contact there from the husk behind look at that look at that that was very dicey indeed. I don't know why Lewis didn't pull off the circuit before that corner there. But anyway, let's have a look at the championship and see where we are. 25 points for Newcastle. Fourth position for our teammate. Lance Stroll got second. Adrian Albert got third. And Lewis Hamilton, of course, did not finish. And Daniel Ricciardo only got seventh place, unfortunately, in the other Mercedes. That's very, very weird. Very, very weird indeed. So there we go then. Let's have a look at the standings now. And we are top of the heap. Top of the heap. Nine points ahead of Daniel Ricciardo and Lewis Hamilton. And our teammate is in ninth place. Well, what a good start to the season we're having now. What a good start to the season we are having now. And we're second in the Constructors. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Another exciting episode of the All Seasons has been now completed. Thanks so much for watching. You have been awesome, as always. And yes, of course, as always, there will, of course... Be more later.